Well, hello there. No, this isn't Christine from Simply Now Logical, but I am at least a close second. Third? Well, this is a nail video, so it's somewhere on the list. I thought I would share my nail routine with you guys. Also, a couple of weeks ago, I had you guys vote on Instagram for which nail polish and which nail decor you wanted me to use in my nail design for this week. And for the nail polish, you guys chose this beautiful color by Milani. It's called Mango Tango. And for the nail decor, you guys chose these gold decals. I will be incorporating both of these in today's design, so let's get started. First things first, my hands have been horribly dry because of all the hand washing that I've been doing lately. So I typically do a hand scrub and I actually use my pumpkin spice hand scrub. I have a tutorial up on my channel for this hand scrub and it works wonders and it smells great and it's really, really easy to use. Um, I will link that video down below and it'll help you create the most delicious smelling hand scrub ever. <sighs> just trust me on this, it's like fall in a bottle and I know, I know it's not fall, but it just smells so delicious. So it's really easy to make. So make sure to go check that out. So first I'm going to do the hand scrub and after I do the hand scrub, I typically moisturize my skin with some olive oil and that just helps seal in some moisture and helps my crackly skin. I get really, really dry skin, especially around my knuckles. So I will do the hand scrub and the oil treatment I will leave on for about 30 minutes and I will be back soon and we shall take it from there. All right, you guys, I am back and I replaced my little background with black so that you can see a little bit clearer. The white was kind of throwing off the lighting. So here we have my nice moisturized skin. It feels so, so good. You have no idea. So first I'm going to remove my nail polish with this and I just got this from Walmart. I'm just using a fresh little cotton pad. So I just let it soak in a little bit and I just start removing. Sometimes this is a little too time consuming for me. So I will soak this entire cotton pad with the nail polish remover like so. So this is a fully saturated cotton pad and I will just rip off little nail sized pieces and just wrap it around my fingers so that it soaks off at least most of the nail polish so I don't have to do too much rubbing. Okay, so it's only been just a couple of minutes. I don't have too much patience, but <laughs> let's see what the nail polish remover got off. So that one actually came off pretty well. It came off pretty well too. And don't worry, we'll go back with another cotton pad to remove off, to remove the excess nail polish. So it got most of it off. And that saved me a lot of rubbing, so that's good. These needed a little longer to soak, but that's okay. Okay, so the majority of the nail polish is off. Now I will go in with another cotton pad and remove the excess, and I'll be back. All right, we are back with clean nails, and now I am going to do some cuticle removing. This is the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover, and all you have to do is apply some right on your cuticle, and just wait after a couple minutes and scrape off the dry cuticle with uh, a little orange stick like this. Okie dokie, so uh, it's only been like four or five minutes, so I'm going to see if it's ready. And I don't know if you can see that, but you'll, you'll start noticing the cuticle start to lift off and scrape off. So all of that right there is dead skin. So I'll just go ahead and wipe that off on a cotton pad and just keep at it. All right, my cuticles are nice and neat and now comes the filing, which is probably my least favorite part of doing my own nails, 
but it's gotta be done. I've been trying to grow out my nails. However, once it goes over a certain length, my nails tend to snap off <laughs> rather easily, even if I wear nail hardener. So that's why I have to trim it down. And when I shape my nails, I typically go for this more rounded shape. I found that this rounded shape actually protects my nails more and my nails stay long for longer. So I'm going to keep this rounded shape. I have two files that I use. This nail file is a much rougher grit, whereas this one is a glass nail file, which is much more gentle on the nail. If I'm using fake nails or if I want to drastically change my nail shape, then I will go ahead and use this. But if I just want to make minor changes and even after I use this harder grit nail file, I typically go over that nail file with a softer glass file so that I can seal up any rough edges. So today I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with the rough grit because I do want to make these a little bit shorter than it is right now. So you want to always make sure that you're filing in the same direction. You don't wanna go back and forth because that creates rough edges and your nails will have a higher possibility of breakage. So now that they're the shape that you want, um, I just go over them with some nail polish remover just to get off any of the dust from me sanding down my nails. And usually I do my nails once a week, but this was a two week old manicure. So there was a lot of filing that had to be done. I have already done this step, but I typically take a Q-tip with some nail polish remover and clean the back of my nails. And I'll take an orange stick and really clean inside my nails to make sure there's no dirt or anything built up under there. All right, so typically if I am wearing my nails out, I would go ahead and fix the length of this nail by adding one of these fake nails. You just match up the nail length and when you put your nail polish on, you won't even notice the difference between the fake nail and your actual nails. But since I am not going anywhere, <laughs> anytime soon at least, I am just going to leave it to be and try to grow it out as much as possible. First, I'm going to go ahead and fix this little crack that's beginning to happen on this nail right here. I'm going to take some nail glue from Kiss and I'm just going to fill in the nail with this nail glue and it's okay if it puddles a little bit. Just take an orange stick and spread it out. So while we wait for that to dry, I'm going to apply this Maximum Growth nail polish on just this thumb because this helps me grow my nails really fast. So this is definitely my nail growth secret weapon. So I typically just put the nail polish as is and then wrap the tip just to protect it from any chipping. Now moving on to the other nails. Typically I would paint all of my nails with this as a base coat, but since I'm running really low on this, I am gonna go ahead and use this as my base coat for the rest of the nails. And I pretty much almost always use a nail hardener or a nail strengthener as my base coat. So again, I just apply it all over the nail and then I wrap the tip with the nail strengthener. Now that I have the tops of my nails protected, I'm gonna go ahead and protect the back of my nails as well. And this step actually really helped my nails grow. My nails were just so weak and brittle and ready to break, but this kind of added some extra protection. And now they are ready for the first coat of this beautiful nail polish. So I always start off with my right hand because I am right-handed. So I try to get the more difficult hand over with. And it's okay if you get nail polish around your cuticle area or on your skin. You can either take a nail brush or a Q-tip with some nail polish remover and get rid of it. Or you can even take a nail file and just rub it off. I don't know if you can see. I first go down one side, then the other, then down the middle. And then I wrap the tip. I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit and we will take a look at our decorations in the meantime. 
so since it is summer, I'm going to try and do more summer themed nail art. This one actually has little suns. So I think I'm going to use this and I'll use these as little accents. I'm going to go ahead and add one more coat onto these nails and I will be right back. Okay, now comes for the fun part, which is decorating. I have chosen just a couple of designs. The first one is going to be this sun. This one right here, it's so cute. All right, so to apply this, I'm going to just use any old top coat and I'm going to apply it where I want to put my decorations on. So I'm going to make the ring finger my main accent finger. I'm gonna take this little sun and make sure you position it how you want, like so. Oh, that's so pretty. And then right above that, I'm going to add this little guy and one right below. On all the other nails, I'm going to add a little star right here on the bottom of each nail. There's the first one, second one, third, and fourth. So now that those are on, I'm going to use my trusty Seche Vite top coat. This is my secret to professional gel-like nails. And this is a quick dry top coat. I'm going to add it right on top to seal in my design. I would make sure that I'm applying this top coat in a well-ventilated area because this does have a very strong paint thinner <laughs> smell to it. Again, make sure you're wrapping the tip as you're applying your top coat. Okay, I am going to let this dry and then do this hand and I will be back. And I typically add a second layer of top coat to my accent nail. So I like to take a big glop of the top coat and just glop it on top of the nail and the nail design and just glide over it. And it creates almost a gel nail like finish and it really seals in that design as well. Now that my nails are for the most part dry, we are gonna go ahead and add some cuticle oil. Uh, but off camera, I did go ahead and clean the sides of my nails with some nail polish remover and this angled brush. You can also use a Q-tip soaked in nail polish remover to remove the excess nail polish. The cuticle oil that I will be using is by ncla and the scent is so rich lollipop lollipop <laughs> but it is a very sweet candy like scent it smells so good i'm just gonna add some to each nail and then just rub it in and you really want to hydrate around your cuticles and your nails because of all that nail polish remover that we used it really dries and strips the skin around your nails so I just go ahead and rub that in. You can also use a hand lotion at this time, but make sure your nails are very dry before you do that because you don't want to mess up any of the hard work that we did. And these are the final results. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for helping me pick out this week's manicure. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big like and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!